Amen. I'd like to give you the third definition of the face, and I need the help of the third blessing recorded here in number six. And that is Jehovah lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So here, not only we have the face, which brings to us the graciousness of God, even the grace of God, the word of God, the word became flesh, full of grace and reality. That is simply the face of God coming to the world, coming to sinners, coming to us. But here, there's something further. He will cause his countenance to be lifted up towards us. Amen. So, where do you come up here? Do you speak English? A little bit, huh? Okay. All right. So, I'm over here. And I see him from a distance with his face. Ah, I know. What brother, what is your name? Brother Chu. I said, oh, that's Chu. That's Brother Chu. But I don't have his presence, do I? I'm just 10 feet away or 12 feet. Am I right? I have his person, but I don't have his presence. Then one day, we get closer. Ah. Okay? Like this. Now, I don't just have his presence. I mean, his person. Now, I have his presence. Do you follow me? Amen. We're so close. And I can see the details. <laughs> I can reach him and touch him. Just now I couldn't even touch him. I just know he's here, but now I can touch him. Amen. But look, the third blessing is the blessing not just of his presence, his faith in a general way. Now I have his countenance. So what is the countenance? The countenance is the expression of this person. He's not just a sculpture. He's not just a piece of stone with a face. I can stand in front of a wonderful sculpture with a human face all day long. There's no feeling there. Am I right? There's no, no, no. It's dead. It's a, just a piece of dead sculpture. No, this is a living person. And this person has a lot of feeling. He has a lot of thoughts. He has a lot of purposes. He has a lot of in things on his inside. But let me tell you, the way to find out what is inside a person is by looking at their face. Yes. You cannot lie. Amen. And some people are good liars. But usually you cannot lie. Amen. Especially when you look at their eyes. Even if you look at the creases of their face, you can tell what they feel. What's my point? Now, I not only have this presence. Yes. I want to give you another word. Also start with the word P, the alphabet P. I have his pleasure. When I not only get close to you, but I start, look at me, I start to look at him like this. <laughs> you see, he's laughing. If I go like this, he would be like this. You, you follow me? When I lift up my countenance to him, it's more than just a stone face. The face is there, but expressionless. No, I tell you, when I not only show my face, I lift up my countenance towards him, that means I'm very happy with him. Amen. Sometimes, thank you, you can have the face, but that's not a happy face. <laughs> no happy face, brown, two dots, and this. <laughs> I tell you, a lot of times the face that God has with you is like this. <laughs> yeah, the face is there, but there's no happiness there, because there's something wrong. Yes, yes. 
something not right. Wouldn't you like to have a happy county? Amen. Amen. You know that next time you see that yellow ball with two dots, make sure it's like this. <laughs> Amen. That's the county. Amen. That expresses pleasure, joy, happiness.